You know the funniest thing about this Brandon Cooks trade? It got y'all scared. <laughs> I see it. Y'all all shook. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk. Right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? I ain't got to ask how you feeling. If you're a Cowboys fan, you're feeling pretty great right now. Because, see, you're actually watching your team do something we ain't seen in a while. We're actually loading the clip. And it's not that we load the clip with bullets late in August. No, 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 no. The Cowboys is finally actually loading the clip in March. See, there's a lot of offseason left. And... A lot of people be bragging on what their GMs do early in the offseason. My GM is good at one thing, value. I will give him that. I will give him that. Gets on my nerves, never takes a big swing. But he's going to find some value somewhere. You can call it being cheap, however you want to do it. It's Dollar General shopping. But the reason why I bring that up is I know they're going to continue to add little small good pieces on the way to the season starting. But right now, let's talk about one of our sneaky, surprising, big additions. And that's Brandon Cooks. See, Brandon Cooks is going to be, it's kind of like when you add the right piece to an NBA team. Like, you got a bunch of slashers, right? And defenders, and all that, and you had like the right three and D piece to it, if you know basketball. You know, um, he's going to open up this offense in a way that we haven't had in a long time. When's the last time we had a deep threat, period? And you could say, we got Turpin. No, no, no. A legitimate, proven deep threat. Since 2014, Brandon Cooks has the most passes caught, 30 yards plus, in the NFL Besides Ty- Tyreek Hill, I think he has 41. Like, that's that's pretty substantial. It's only Tyreek Hill, Brandon Cooks, Mike Evans, and then everyone else. He has six 1,000-yard seasons. Six. You know the biggest thing that, like, one of the biggest things I noticed today that made me even more excited about this trade, see, I know what he's going to bring to this offense because our offense is changing. Everyone thinks, oh, I know the Cowboys offense. It's going to be different. This West Coast system is going to make it different. We're going to attack you differently with short, precise passing. Passes to the back out the backfield. Slants and things like that. And Brandon Cooks just fits. First of all, his route tree is phenomenal. I saw this chart earlier. Shout out to my boy, um, Outlaw Cowboy. Um... He hits every other thing that we didn't do well. Slants, go routes, nine routes, like digs. Like he does all that stuff well. You know what he didn't do well last year? Curls and comebacks. Now you can say, why is that a good thing? Because I'm tired of curls and comebacks. That's like 75% of Kellen Moore's offense. Like Brandon Cooks is going to do things for our team offensively. That's going to complement, complement C.D. Lamb and this offense so well. Because, see, I wanted D-Hop because D-Hop is just throwing another alpha male on this team. It's not that Brandon Cook's not alpha. But his skill set complements C.D. D-Hops would have been redundant. Possession receiver. Now, C.D. Lamb's a possession receiver with wiggle. D-Hop's more of a possession receiver. He got some post-run catchability. You know, you got a little bit of yak. But not like CD. We got that already. Now, Odell Beckham Jr. would have provided a lot of wiggle, little short catches, and, you know, can take things to the house. But the difference is, the biggest difference is, everyone was just worried about if he was going to mesh with our locker room. You don't got to do that with Brandon Cooks. Never have heard that he has any locker room issues at all. Now, he's been on a lot of different teams for whatever reason. I'll give you that. But to hear the media today 
try to downplay it. When the media's angle is to say, first of all, they try to call him over 30. I heard that good morning football, just hating. But when the media just tries to downplay the 6,000-yard seasons, they start bringing up concussions and all this. He's played more games than the two other receivers we was chasing in the last couple years, hands down. The stuff that you're trying to pin on him is earlier in his career. He hasn't been injury prone lately. You just don't want this to work because you don't like, that's why I can hear the tone in Colin Cowherd, Good Morning Football, everyone that talked about this trade. They couldn't really hate on Brandon Cooks. They just, you know, Cowboys going to do Cowboys things. And it's not going to quite work because it's just, I don't want it to work. Just say that. You don't want it to work. But it's going to work. Last time you saw Dak Prescott with a legitimate number two receiver, 37 touchdowns, broke the Cowboys' touchdown record for a single season. That's the last time you saw him with a legitimate receiver, 2021. Look at this Cowboys offense. Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Tony Pollard. Now you can say, you leaving out Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup has to earn his way back. Now, I personally have faith that Michael Gallup will be better this year. But I was proven wrong last year with the support I gave to him coming off that injury, and people was just saying he ain't got it. So now we got to do the whole, you got to go out there and do your thing and prove people wrong, maybe including myself. I believe you can do it. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, Michael Gallup's back to form. That's a mean receiving core. That's a mean receiving core. Because I'll put that three, I'll put Michael Gallup as a three, Versus a lot of people. Through. Name a better bunch of threes. You can't, t- you can't name five better third receivers in the league. If Michael Gallup's back to form before the injury. You can't. And that's 1,100 yard Michael Gallup. 1,100 yard Michael Gallup. Y'all name somebody. Third receiver. With better toe tap ability. High point to ball ability. Like let's not forget how good he can be. But back to Brandon Cooks man. Like. Legitimate 4-3 speed at his tops. At least 4-4 still. He's only 29. I know he turned 30 later this year. But that's crazy to me. First of all, he's been in the league nine years. To be only 29 is phenomenal. But let's not underestimate the biggest thing that this trade is going to do. There's being a great player, great role model, going out there and doing your job as a professional. And then there's playing motivated you know kind of how like Dante Fowler looked last year Robert Quinn looked when he came here Randall Cobb looked when he came here motivation is different when you feel like you're going somewhere Brandon Cooks hasn't felt motivated in years not since the Rams um Patriots days and he's still producing he's going to play motivated this year he feels like he's being brought in because he's the missing piece. That does something different to you. He can look over this quarterback and have legitimate confidence. Oh, I got one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Y'all can hate all y'all want to. Don't care. I can hear it already in the comments. Anyway, Brandon Cooks is going to change this offense because his skill set is different. And I dare you to leave number two corners, number two corners on Cooks. And with the wiggle that our, our tight ends got, we got some, some tight ends. Like Ferguson, you saw some of the moves he put on last year. And Hendershot, he's just faster than most people are going to give credit to. I'm telling you, this offense is different. Shout out to Dalton Schultz. He got to deal with the Texans. He's gone. He's not coming back. So to have tight ends that can stretch the seam, Brandon Cooks that can run a nine route, and you got to respect it. You can't just double a bracket CD no more. You leave Cooks by himself if you want to. And for everybody that can't throw the deep ball, go look at the stats, man. Go look at the stats. Before our offensive line was so terrible last year in pass blocking, one of the best deep ball throwers in the league. That's factual. That's a fact. But look, I would love to hear what y'all think in the comments. I'm excited about this move. All the media did today, all Twitter did today, downplaying Brandon Cooks instead of just saying, the Cowboys got a decent receiver. All the downplaying, let me know that y'all scared. Y'all are scared. I would be scared too. 
Because this offense was missing one thing. If, if the 49ers had to respect, had to respect the speed of a Brandon Cooks, it opens up that game totally different. CeeDee Lamb went for 100 plus without another receiver, with a Noah Brown on the field. Oh, it's about to get different. It's going to get spooky. But it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. And let me know if y'all want me to go live Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll hop.